Oh yeah, uh, another little cathode ray tube uh, video today. This one is on this little CRT. I thought this was quite interesting because this is quite early and doesn't have any internal focusing uh, or electrostatic focusing inside the CRT. It uh, I think originates as a radar, a small radar uh, CRT um, from kind of uh, maritime uh, applications. So we're going to try and fire it up and see what we can do with it. Um, this has got a little electron gun here, it's quite a small electron gun, but what's interesting about it, there, it's quite simple and there's only the accelerating anode, first anode and grid, uh, there's no focusing anodes on here. Uh, this CRT used external uh, focusing using uh, magnets. Uh, the deflection coil would sit normally here because it doesn't have plates, uh, XY plates, it has uh, def again electromagnetic deflection and the coil would sit around about here. So you have a little look, it's quite unusual now to see uh, CRTs with the magnetic focus. This is the type of magnets, so these ceramic magnets used to find in early black and white CRTs in the 1950s. Um, they're quite hard to find now because anybody who knew they would break the tellies up to get these magnets out of them. Um, there were two and they were situated, the fields opposing, uh, on roughly on this part of the neck and could be adjusted mechanically in or out, uh, creating a focus adjustment on the electron beam. There was a later type, not so commonly used, which used a one permanent magnet and one electromagnet arrangement as well. Uh, this was quite a common practice, uh, certainly in televisions back in the 1950s, but was superseded by electrostatic control inside the electron gun. Um, but it was common to use two of these kind of large uh, circular magnets to produce a focused spot on a CRT prior to that. As you can see, I can move the beam around. Now, normally these are aligned so they would be centralized, but you could focus it by moving them along the neck. So you can see it draws a very, very sharp beam when it's focused. There's a nice persistence on this CRT being a radar phosphor on it. It's, it's also a, a, unusually an orange one as well, but I can move the magnets apart and you get an out of focus spot, bring them closer and I can focus the spot to quite a nice a nice little dot. So that was done by moving these permanent magnets along the uh, neck of the tube. There was a, a change, you could do this uh, electromagnetically, uh, which is slightly less common, but I have seen it used on projector. CRTs. Okay, this time I have the electromagnetic set up here. So this has got one part permanent magnet and the other part electromagnetic, which we can change the field on. And we have the out of focus direct beam on the center. And this time I can increase the voltage on the coil. And you can see we can bring the dot down to a little dot, very well focused dot there by adding a current through this second coil. So deflection would be done by another set of coils in this part of the, the, the CRT here, uh, but focusing by this electromagnetic coil. So the electron gun sitting in here is very similar construction to this one. And you can see there's the final anode here and this connects by these springs to the internal coating onto the final anode connection up here. So that would be the same arrangement inside here and our cathode and heater at this end. Uh, but this one needed external focusing. Uh, a later style of gun from actually another radar style CRT uh, has this arrangement of final anode, again connects to the inside coatings, but has an assembly with a, a second uh, anode in here which forms the electrostatic focusing in this style of gun. So that did away with the magnetic uh, focusing used earlier.